How's it going guys, it's Take of Best GN here to talk about the trailer that Bethesda just dropped for Fallout 76. And obviously it was a short trailer, so we don't have a lot of details on it, but there are plenty of things that we can sink our teeth into. Now I've never done one of these videos before, so I don't know how much I can do in terms of putting in clips of the trailer into, the, into this video. I'm going to do my best and there will definitely be at least screenshots for you to follow as I talk. Now, 2102, that is apparently the date that the game is going to take place in, which makes it by far the earliest game in the Fallout timeline. Fallout 4 takes place 185 years later. I mean, this makes this game have so much potential in terms of factions and so many other things. Now, a very important thing to mention is the fact that Vault 76 is going to be the focal point, or at least the, early, the focal point early on in the game. And... Vault 76 is one of the most important vaults in Fallout history because if you look at Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, we didn't really know a lot about, Fallout, about Vault 76, but they were constantly mentioned in terminals and things like that. So there were plenty of teases and giving us a general idea of what it might be. And it turns out that Vault 76 is a control vault, which is a vault in which vault Tech didn't do any weird tests on it on people, which is predominantly what vault Tech built the vaults for. But there were some vaults, like this one, where it was all about reclaiming the United States after a certain amount of years and having the people that were in these vaults come out and being the first people to step foot on the wastelands and reclaim what is rightfully theirs. Now, that's going to be very interesting because if you are some of the first people to experience the wasteland after the Great War, then it's going to be very, very interesting. And this game, as I said, takes place early on in the timeline, and it takes place about 25 years after the bombs were dropped in the Great War. So are we going to see new factions? Are we going to see the Enclave? Are we going to see, you know, the government have something to do with it? It remains to be seen, but there's so much they can do there. Now, according to Jason Schreier, who is a guy who has apparently a lot of inside information, who's been actually talking about this for the past few days, um, this isn't going to be your classic single-player game. And I quote, Anyone expecting Fallout 76 to be a traditional single-player RPG is going to be very disappointed. What, what this means exactly, we don't really know. Now, I'm assuming there's going to be single-player elements, obviously, because we know it's going to be have, have a lore to it and all that stuff because that's Fallout and this is made by Bethesda Gaming Studios, not you know give, not given to some second to some third party. This is made in house, so it's going to be a AAA title. It's just a matter of is this going to be what we usually expect from Fallout plus maybe something like online co-op, or is it going to be an a fully online mode as much like Elder Scrolls Online, or is it going to be something completely different? We don't really know, but I think it's probably going to be more like an a single player mode, a single player with an online component to it. So whether that means like you you have competitive multiplayer or somebody can join your game and experience the wasteland with you and maybe it's an entirely thing built around co-op, we don't really know. We don't know. But we do know it's going to be something really interesting there and something that's going to make it very different from past games. And we know that in around 2012, Bethesda did acquire the rights to make a fully online game, much like Elder Scrolls Online. So we'll see what they do there. But regardless, I'm just going to be talking about the lore here. If you want to hear more about that, then listen to you know some other people. But what, what Jason Schreier did say is that it's not going to be an MMO. So that kind of takes away the Elder Scrolls Online part. So what exactly does it mean? We don't know. I'm expecting to be a typical Fallout game, sort of like New Vegas, that was like a spin-off, plus some online components. And I don't know how deep the online components are going to be, but we're going to find out very, very soon. There were some clips throughout the, uh, or some, some moments throughout the trailer where it, there are pairs mentioned. Like you see a table where there's two meals prepared, or there's various things throughout other than that where there are a couple of things. So it does seem very much like it's going to be based on two people. Are, is it going to be limited to people? Who knows? We're going to find out very, very soon. Anyway, moving on, um, we may see some new factions. Like I said, we might see some new factions because there's plenty they can do. And what they have to do if they do new, add new factions that have never been mentioned throughout Fallout's history is basically have to be new factions that form as soon as people leave the vaults and enter the wasteland. And they basically have to disappear by the time Fallout 2 comes out because that's the next game in the timeline. So... It's hard to understand what exactly they're going to do with it because there's so much lore there and there's so many things that they could slide into the lore and have it sort of, not I'm not going to say retcon, but, you know, find itself being added to the Fallout lore. Um, we don't know what, but there's going to be plenty of new stuff there in my opinion because Fallout 4, had I, I liked Fallout 4 quite a bit. 
I haven't done everything in the game, but I liked it quite a bit, but definitely it wasn't as good as Fallout 3 in my opinion, and honestly, you know, I'm about to play Fallout, Fallout New Vegas again, and I want to see, like, I want to just, I'm going to go balls deep in Fallout right now, I'm going to go and play every single thing I can in Fallout 4, go, go attack New Vegas, and apparently Fallout 3's Anniversary Edition is going to come out this year, so that's awesome too. Now, another thing that we want to mention about this is Ron Perlman is back. At the end of the trailer, there is a little clip of the announcer, which is from Fallout 3 as well, and it is Ron Perlman, and that's fucking awesome. Hellboy is in Fallout once again, and I look forward to seeing if he has a bigger role in there in terms of narration and what they can do with Ron Perlman. Another thing I want to say is, are Super Mutants going to be in this game? That's really, really interesting to find out because Super, Mut super Mutants traditionally are brought into the wasteland, you know, in a major role from 2103, so a year after we, uh, after what we saw in the trailer. Now they are, they were technically already around because they were still, be they were already being developed, but they weren't already an army. They weren't already rampant. Now, we'll see. We might encounter them here and there, but I don't expect them to, to be a major issue throughout the game in terms of, like, villains or enemies at the fight. Um, another thing I want to say is this is probably the most interesting thing here, apart from the fact that it is Vault 76, and that's the fact that you might be playing as an overseer. And I say that because if you look at the awards throughout the trailer, it says, you know, that you sacrificed some so that more can live. And that makes me think that you are the overseer. You are running what happens inside the vault. There are also some other ones like, you know, um, achievement awards and things like that. So there's plenty to look at there. And I'm pretty sure he probably is an overseer. And who knows? There are some quips of a child there. So you may even be like somebody who grew up in the vault and become the became the overseer. Maybe because the overseer, the original one died. Or you're the overseer and your son is the other, is the kid whose bed we see there and stuff like that. A lot of it's unclear. But there's plenty to look at there, and there's also going to be a lot of speculation in the next few weeks because they announced that June 10th, Fallout 76 is going to have presence at Bethesda's press conference at E3. So we're going to have a lot more information, hopefully one that comes around. And another thing I want to say is that there's a little badge on there on his on his uh, on his outfit. But and a lot of people were saying that that's like the overseer badge. But if you look at Fallout 4. Um, when you're in the vault and when you're in your uniform, you do actually have a badge like that, if I'm not mistaken. So I think that's probably not like a proof, any any kind of proof that you are going to be the overseer. But I think it very much makes sense that you will be, uh, because it seems like you're going to have a major role in being one of the first people and one of the first groups to explore the wastelands and really see what that has to offer. Um, and that's really like all I have to say. I have notes right here, so let me take a look and see if I missed anything. Talking here, uh, not really. Not really. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Like I said, it was a short trailer, so not a whole lot to talk about in terms of what we know or what we really can think of, but there were some references as well. Like there was uh, on top, I think it was on top of a shelf, there was something that looked like maybe Mothership Zeta. So there are references from things that take place later on in the story. And another thing I want to mention is the TV. The TV, and I think this is actually the first time in in any of the Fallout games or any, you know, in throughout Fallout history that we've seen on screen is color TVs. That's interesting. I'm not saying that's going to be like something, have a major role in it, but, you know, it's interesting. It is interesting. Maybe they're going to do some things to change the way the lore is and maybe make it brighter and things like that. I don't know exactly, but there's plenty of things there to look at. And I'm not going to be one of those guys who's going to be talking about every single little frame, every single little detail, because there's so much of that already. And people who are more, way more experienced than me at that, and people who have much better information than me uh, in terms of every single little detail. So I definitely recommend that you check them out. I can't remember who it was, whose video I watched to get a lot of this stuff. It was, he was doing a live stream talking about it. So I'm going to leave his, uh, his name in this video, like more or less right here. And you'll be able to see it and, you know, maybe go check his, his stream out and, see what exactly he talked about that maybe I didn't talk about here. So there's going to be a lot of that stuff. Obviously, it's plenty of content. I look forward to seeing what they release June 10th at E3. And that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Maybe hit the notification bell. That way, I, every time I put out a video, you will be notified and you can be one click away from watching my video. And let me know in the comments section down below two things. Number one, how excited are you for Fallout 76? And number two, what do you want this game to be? Oh, and I forgot one little thing I want to mention. And it's one thing that people have been saying on the chat. And one thing that I was actually very, very worried about once that little stream popped up. And they were teasing that there was going to be something coming very, very soon. And what I was very worried about was that it's maybe going to be Fallout Shelter number 2. Now listen, I don't like mobile games. 
All right, I understand it was a it was a fun little game. I played it for a few hours and I enjoyed it, but I don't like those kind of games. I was terrified that they were gonna hype this thing up big time. It was gonna be a Fallout Shelter, basically number two or something similar. And something that somebody said actually kind of makes sense because there have been rumors this is gonna be sort of like a management type of game. And something somebody said really hit me. And it's basically that this might be Fallout Shelter in Fallout 4's engine. Now, I'm not saying that would be particularly awful. It might be interesting because it would be kind of like The Sims, but in the Fallout universe. And I'm not saying that's awful. I'm not a big Sims fan. I don't like life simulator games. So it might, it's definitely not up my alley. But I would give it a chance because anything Bethesda does, I generally give them a chance. I'm not liking Doom. I've been, I've, I honestly have been like trying to play it for six or seven months now, and I just can never get it in. That's like one of the very few Bethesda games that I don't particularly like, but I'm still trying to play that. So if Bethesda do make something like that, I will give it an honest shot. I will give it my very best, and I'm just hoping that that's not the case. I'm really hoping it's something like New Vegas or maybe even, you know, like something like that in terms of a spinoff. Something to really perfect what they did with Fallout 4 because Fallout 4, like I said, had plenty of complaints. So they might might be trying to, you know, hit the nail in the cop, you know, basically end all the complaints. Make something that everybody's going to be happy about. That way they sort of end the talks and then they can go into the next few games they're going to release in a bright light. And that is it for the video. That's officially it for the video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and I will see you in the next video.